in the last video we have discussed about the variables in kotlin so now we are going to move further and uh, discuss the data types in kotlin okay so uh, as i already mentioned kotlin is a statically typed language uh, that is the variable of uh, the variable is uh, already known during the compile time so uh, there are a few type of variables in kotlin so i'll just start a function so when i uh, so there are uh, four mainly four types there are numbers there are characters there are booleans and there are arrays uh, i'll cover them one by one so firstly i'll go to the number type so number in kotlin are similar to java and any other programming knowledge a uh, programming language so there are six built in types representing number so uh, the six are byte short int long float and double so uh, out of them mainly we were we will be using int and double in most of the time so what is byte so i can create one uh, byte for you so i'll create val range and uh, i'll mention its type byte i'll mention it as 112 so uh, the byte is a uh, is one byte is 8 bits you might already know that so there are totally 8 bit and 8 sign bit to two's complement integer so byte data can have values from minus 128 to 127 so when i uh, have a uh, concise data and uh, it has a concise value between 0 to 100 or such that then i use byte so what it does is instead of using an integer or a long int or a double so it uh, it concise the code in very small space it requires a very less space so uh, when i assign it a value of 200 so it gives a, it shows and red underline and when i hover over it it says that the integer literal does not conform the expect to the expected type byte so what it says basically it is uh, it is out of the range out of the bound so when i go and print the range so it will be printing 112 as we expect so yeah it prints 112 okay so we will move on and next is short under the number so short is a data type having a 16 so i'll mention here it is having 8 8 bit 8 bit 1 bit is 8 1 byte is 8 bit so the short is having uh the the values can be assigned to a 16 bit 16 bit signed uh signed complement integer two's complement integer so the the data as short data type can have values from minus 32768 to 32767 we don't have to remember that or know that just for knowledge sake i am telling you this so the short has a capacity or we can say uh, it uses 16 bit data okay so next we will move to int so int is a 32 bit signed two's complement integer and mainly we will be using int in uh, most of our codes so int data type can have values from minus 2 to the power 31 2 2 to the power 31 minus 1 okay so any uh, value i assign to a is by default stored as an int when i hover over a it shows that it is an int okay so it is also a default value so uh, next is long so what happens when i have a integer of value more than 2 to the power 31 so we can store it in 
long so basically long has a 64 bit signed to complement integer okay so when i have a long integer we will store it as long so the keyword used for it is i'll just mention uh, one value uh, say long int and i'll mention it as long and it can have any value okay so uh, moving on we have double so double is a uh, data type with double precision of 64 bit floating point so whenever i define any uh, decimal as a value suppose 1.23 so it automatically is defined as a double okay as we can see here so if i print decimal it will be printing 1.23 now what is float we have seen about double so double has also 64 bit so float data type is a single precision 32 bit floating point okay so uh, there was int that was getting by default assigned and there was byte and short that concise the storage so whenever we want to acquire it less storage we can use float so how to define float so we can define it as well uh, decimal float in this way also okay but so we could have uh, by the uh, by the thing we are going uh, uh, the seeing like we define it in this way but it is not true so what i what if i have to define a float so what i do is i just uh, define it as decimal and then put a f so what it does is it convert it convert it to float so it is now a float so when i print uh, decimal float so what it does is it will be printing 1.23 one only 1.123 and not the f so what it says is it is a float okay and nothing else so uh, we have used uh, 1.123 f instead of 1.123 in the above uh, in the program it is because 1.123 is a double literal and you cannot assign double value inside a type of float okay so i can now i can here mention float so it will not giving any error okay so uh, what if i am not sure about the uh the what if i am not sure about what number value a variable will assign in the program so i can what i can do is i can use a number data type so i will uh, define where test and assign it number data type okay so i can put anything into like i can put a string into the okay sorry I can put a string into test I can put a integer into text oh, sorry number so I can put an integer into test I can put a decimal into test I can put anything into test if I have de defined it data type as number so now we have completed our numbers data type now we will move on to characters to represent character and Kotlin uh, care data types are used so uh, what I'll do is I'll just create a letter where uh, letter and uh, what I do is I define its value as care so the care data type is used so I can assign it any uh, character so please note that the character will be in single quotation marks okay 
so i have defined a character now the next data type is booleans so what booleans are booleans are simply uh, either true either false they have only two possible values so uh, when i define a boolean variable boolean so i'll name it as flag and it has a data types boolean so i can either uh, give flag value a uh, true t r u e true okay or a false okay so it has only two values so uh, booleans are used generally used in decision making statement that we will be using in our later discussion okay then further we have arrays so we will be discussing arrays in a separate topic but just to define it uh, an array is a container that hold value of a of one single type for example you can create an array that can hold 100 values of n type okay then we have string so just for defining purpose i'll define a string like val uh, name i have already defined it but okay so this is my name okay so please note that the string must be in double quotation mark okay thank you for watching this video we have now covered the data types in kotlin